All right, Carson. It's rare we see you lose. So what happened out there? To be honest, nothing. Nothing happened. Kind of. It's. It's a good time. I think everybody who knows the 40-meter hurdles and watched it didn't think we were going to win at 46 and a half. But uh, rivals running even faster, and uh, you know, I've always knew he has a good, great potential. Today he shows it well. I don't know if it's the Hayward magic all the Americans are talking about, or if it's just some hardcore shape after the world champs, but uh, kudos to him. And uh, to me, I just got to take it like a man and go back and use it as motivation. How tough is it to mentally stay engaged, physically stay engaged after a world championship to extend your season to something like this? Of course it's tough. But at the same time, I think for me, it gets easier and easier for every year because the first world title you get is like, you know, you're just so happy and nothing else matters. But you, as you start to get several, you forget them faster and just want to race even more. And that's sort what of I felt like also this time, you know, went to Zurich, wasn't nearly at my best. And I decided I want to go out, you know, in, in good style. So, good job. And, uh, you know, I think I came here running as good as I can for six and a half. I would have been very, very, very happy to win at that time. It's been a lot of racing this year, obviously. Do you feel like the legs are a little taxing right now? Or is this like, it's of course, of course. But I think I think everybody feels it some way. Not right, probably, but <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been a long season for me and I've been racing a bit more, but it's hard to say how that affects. But uh, with the time, I'm happy, but still, you can't be happy when, when you lose. At least I can't. So all I want is to win. Now we're going into an Olympic year. Like who's, it's been going back and forth, I guess. Who's the Olympic favorite right now? <laughs> Obviously, I know who you're gonna say. No, but <laughs> I don't talk that style, you know? But the thing is, if you look at the track record, that goes in my favor. But I'm not saying I'm the favorite because you might think that I'm getting cocky from all these wins. But I never underestimate these guys, you know? I see their potential. I see their talent. That's what keeps me going to, to work every day, to work hard. Because I know it's not gonna be, not gonna be given to me. So I'm not gonna go out there and say I'm the favorite, but I'm the title defender at least. Uh, and uh, I have some great merits in this in this sport, but I want more. And the other guys are chasing me all the time, so I need to stay on my toes. How long is the break between now and then the build up to next year? Shorter now. See you guys. <laughs>